Hey everyone, in this lesson I'm going to talk to you guys about the RAS, RAF, MEC, ERC pathway. I'm also going to give you guys a brief overview of what the pathway is, what are some of the outcomes of the pathway, I'm also going to tell you guys about why this pathway is important in certain pathologies, and finally I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the regulation of the pathway. So to begin, what is the RAS, RAF, MEC, ERC pathway? Well, this pathway is actually a mitogen activated protein kinase, or MAPK, cascade, or pathway. Um, and this is actually one of four MAPK cascades in humans. So getting into a bit more detail, what is RAS itself? Well, RAS is actually a small guanosine triphosphatase, or a small GTPase. So um, that is what RAS is. It is a small GTPase. Now there are actually uh, several isoforms of RAS. There's actually HRAS, KRAS, and NRAS, and these will become more important when we actually talk about the pathology, um, types of pathologies related to this pathway. RAF also has um, particular isoforms, um, ARAF, BRAF, and CRAF, and again, these will become more important when we talk about pathologies related to the pathway. Now, what is MEC? MEC is actually um, really known as MAPK ERK kinase. That's what MEC is. So it MEC, all it stands for is MAPK ERK kinase. Now, what is ERK? ERK is actually an extracellular receptor kinase. That's what ERK actually stands for. And this is the kind of the important protein in the path. This is kind of what really actually um, performs a lot of a lot of the outcomes of the pathway. So in, in fact, it actually regulates various amounts of cytosolic and nuclear proteins. And in fact, over 160 proteins are actually regulated by ERK. And these proteins um, include transcription factors, and which many of them are actually involved in cell proliferation, survival, and metastasis. So um, what exactly is the pathway and how does it actually operate? Well, first we have RAS. RAS activates RAF, um, particularly um, important is BRAF. Um, RAF then activates MEC, um, both MEC1 and 2, which then activates ERK1 and 2. Now that's pretty much the basic um, structure of the pathway. It's very simple, but um, we'll see in a moment here how complex it can really get. So. ERK um, actually, once once ERK is activated, it'll actually translocate to the nucleus and will actually activate several um, different genes and um, transcription factors. Um, some of them include CMIC, ETS, CJUN, and CFOS. Now, these targets are very important because they are actually related to cell proliferation, survival, and metastasis. So now that we kind of know the, the basics of the pathway, um, how is the pathway actually regulated? Well, one of the main regulators of RAS at the beginning of the pathway is actually EGFR, or Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor. Now there are multiple epidermal growth factor receptors, um, including HER2, or Human Epidermal, Gro uh, Human epidermal Receptor 2, but nonetheless, uh, EGFR um, or HER2 will activate RAS by um, um, going through um, SOS and GRB2 proteins. So what will happen is EGFR will activate SOS GRB2 which will then activate RAS. So you may be thinking okay how is EGFR uh, actually activated? It's actually activated by TGF alpha or transforming growth factor alpha and um, surprisingly or a little bit disturbing about this pathway is that this pathway the ras raf mech erk pathway can actually lead to the transcription and um, production of more tgf alpha which can actually keep activating the pathway so this uh, pathway can kind of auto activate itself other uh, regulators of EGFR uh, receptor include EGF, beta cellulin, and epiregulin. But one of the most important is TGF alpha, so just remember that, guys. Now, other regulations of the pathway um, include regulations at the RAF level of the pathway. So, RAF itself can be uh, 
activated or regulated by um, P20 activated kinase or PAK can also be uh, regulated by a protein known as S SRC and can also be regulated by a couple other um, binding partners including heat shock protein 90 and 1433 so um, as you can see the pathway is not as simple um, as it seems but it's very important um, to know some of the regulations of the pathway because the pathway is very important in uh, different types of pathology because of its primary outcomes of cell proliferation, survival, and metastasis. And because it is important in regulating cell proliferation, survival, and metastasis, this pathway is very, very important in cancer pathogenesis. So now that we know the overview of the pathway, in the next lesson I'm going to talk to you guys about how this pathway is involved in various types of cancer pathogenesis. Anyways guys, I hope you found this video helpful. That was a brief overview lesson on the ras raf mech erc pathway. Um, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.